perusing my old high school's photo archive and I found this picture of me and my now roommate and I had no idea it existed. Um, so that was, <laughs> that's exciting. Morning. Uh, right now I'm watching a BBC video on Albert Watson. Uh, he's a Scottish photographer who did a lot of famous work. His first like really big photograph was of Alfred Hitchcock back in the 70s or something. I like watching stuff like this for two reasons. One, you can learn a lot just from watching the documentary and learning what it's trying to convey. And another thing for me as a videographer is I can watch the documentary and just kind of glean insight from how it's filmed and the way that they did certain cuts, the way that the music builds, and when they play audio and when they stop audio. Yeah, so that's the way I learn best is by watching other people do stuff and then just trying to copy it and make it my own. Boom. It's warm on the air vent. We're watching my year wrap-up video. I'm gonna see if I can get out without bumping anything. Hopefully. What? I just found an, an iPod shuffle in my car. What? <laughs> this is the best iced coffee I've ever had in my life. French vanilla with cream and sugar. So, yeah. If you're ever in Carrollton, Georgia, Dunkin' Donuts here. Forgot my debit card. I have to use cash. Well, you went... Well, yeah. That was Vanessa Parkey. Uh, she's one of my friends from school. Hey, check this out. There's a helicopter out here. That's something you don't see every day. At least where I live. You might live somewhere else where you do see that every day. But that was crazy. I just majorly ran a red light by accident. And I was like, you know, this thing's going to keep on being yellow. As soon as I crossed the stop line, it turned red. And I was like freaking out because there was a cop car like that way. I don't know, maybe like 50 yards back. I was like, oh man, I hope he didn't see it. And I was looking in my rear view mirror and another cop car <laughs> went and, and turned. Uh, and I was so upset with myself, but luckily he, he turned around and went the other way. Uh. I just found this really cool new game on congregate.com called Continuity. Though so pretty much the premise of this game is to make it through this maze. And there's like 24 levels or something. But one of the things that's really interesting about it is it's called Continuity. So you have to make sure if you're going from one stage to the next, the walls have to line up. Otherwise, you won't be able to move from one stage to the next. I don't know, it's not a super complicated game, but I really appreciated the originality of it. So you should check it out if you're into puzzle games. I'm showing Daddy-O that <laughs> the game. He's pretty good at it. Mm, kind of not. <laughs> it's not fun. <laughs> You almost got it. Yeah, what a headache. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Level 8. Only 24 <laughs> levels remain. <laughs> the number one champion. <laughs>